Jennifer, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, tell me a little bit about your chess upbringing. Um, so I first learned how to play chess in chess club at school. Uh, my parents told me I should go. So I went and I liked it at first just because if you won, they would give you little keychains, little chess keychains. So I, I really liked that. And then eventually I started competing. Um, so I don't think I had a very like strictly like, oh, we should play chess. Like, ever, like ever since I was young, I just kind of did all sorts of different things and chess was one of them. And eventually I just kind of got a little better at chess. So it was like, oh, if you get better, you have to put more time into it. So that's just kind of what happened with me. And then, um, I, so I kind of feel like I just grew up playing this game. Did you spend a lot of time as a kid uh, studying from books or were you already at the time where things were available online so you spend more time? training online? When I first started, I would just do tactic books, like puzzle books. Honestly, the main way I trained my whole life was just puzzles. Like I, that was the main thing I liked to do. So I, whether or not I should have focused on other things, I just really liked it. So um, eventually it was like, when I was growing up, there was like tactics trainers was really popular in chess.com. So I would just do so much tactics training every single day, but that was how I kind of worked on the game for a very long time. Very nice. And you won this championship two times so far and you're the de defending um, champion. How uh, do you feel about getting into this tournament? Like, I, I know you mentioned you struggled with, um, you know, you're a full-time student, you're going to Harvard. How are you able to still find time for chess and getting ready for the tournament? Uh, I never really know how to answer these kind of questions because I think I'm constantly trying to get better and learning. Like, I don't think I'm the best at handling it. I, I Definitely, it comes in waves. Like last year, I think I did an all right job, but also at the same time last year, there were times where I slept like three hours a night because I was writing a paper, you know, <laughs> before a game. So it's always something I'm working on. Like this year, I have to take a midterm at the tournament. Um, I'm being proctored by a TD like, after the Whoa. game. So I don't know how it's gonna go, um, but I'm trying my best. So we'll see. You've been able to manage things really well last year and, and you're always very focused when you're playing a tournament. Do you also, uh, so you go to school, but do you, are you able to combine uh, also a healthy lifestyle so that you're able to have enough energy to deal with all of these tough situations in your life? Yeah, um, it's really important for me to like personally like stay active and also be social. Like I really love spending time with like my friends and my roommates. So um, that's something I value a lot. So sometimes when you have to pick between this and like studying, that's also its own challenge, but I, you don't need me to talk about that. <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> but what about um, in school? Besides school, are you involved in any projects, like any clubs um, at school? Anything else that you're doing besides studying and chess? Yeah, so I was part of a lot of different um, like extracurricular like pre-professional organizations and a lot of different other clubs on campus over the last couple of semesters. And um, so something I'm doing a little bit different this semester is I'm putting a lot of it on the back burner and mainly just focusing on school and like try to do some chess just because I felt like I was being stretched very thin. But you know, I learned a lot of different things from my experiences in those organizations. So that's just, that's the, that's for like the future for whatever career I end up doing. Are you still deciding on which career you might be going um, after graduating? Um, yeah, I, yeah, it's it's still in the process for recruitment and a lot of different other things. But yeah, like I, I think I changed my mind quite a few times over the last few years. So, so we'll see how it goes. How many more years do you have? I'm a junior right now. So this year and then last year, next year. Sounds good. Well, I hope you've been able to balance everything well and you're going to do well during this tournament. I'm looking forward to seeing your games. Thank you so much, Jennifer, and good luck.